has been a month and a half of encounters even this week oh God we are here in your presence desiring a fresh encounter desiring a touch from you again you are not a man to lie no a son of man to change your mind what you said father is what indeed you promised us indeed we have seen with our eyes we have seen your promises upon our lives today may you manifest yourself again this week ancient of days let you manifest yourself once again this week uh, one thing i know as my mother declares that you are the god uh, who disproves the status quo you are the god uh, who changes reports uh, you are the god uh, who creates a world where there seem to be no way uh, you are the god uh, who answers critics uh, you are the god uh, what you say is what you do irrespective of the social economic situation uh, you remain god uh, you are highly exalted uh, you are seated on the throne of righteousness uh, you behold you stretch out a scepter of righteousness uh, for your kingdom is a kingdom of righteousness uh, and your scepter is a scepter of righteousness uh, to you you dwell in unfathomable light and in you there is no darkness in you there is no sin in you there is no defilement and to you oh god we come the same yesterday today and forevermore we believe in you as the God of manifestations of miracles. We believe in you as a God that manifests in sign and wonders. We believe in you as a God that shows yourself stronger. You've called us to the place of purity. You've called us because no eye, no one that is unclean will see you, O oh God. No one that is defiled will see you. Take your place once again, the Spirit of God. Take your place. Be a throne once again. Yes, many may be worshipping Baal, but to the generation that belongs to the 7,000, be a throne once again in our land be a throne once again in our families be a throne once again my goodness hey something is going on My goodness, hey, hey. My goodness, then you have your way. May you have your way. May you have your way. May you have your way, Jesus. May you have your way, my God. Mm. Uh, if only you can feel what I feel. If only you can sense what I sense. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the tangible Shekina, hey, hey, woof, Jesus, the Kalama de de dosa, the Pande de Bos. You are awesome, you are awesome, you are awesome, God, you are awesome, hey, hey. Jesus. Oh, yes, 
Si tu kwema zoto ambuda kwenchi swalo Banji baba nebabuza katonda wa mwaridu dawa Katonda wabu tukufo ya nukuna musizo nienu Katonda wabu tukifo ya nukuna musizo nienu You are holy. You are holy, Lord. You are holy, Jesus. <laughs> you are holy. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. Ah. There is none like you. Ascend unto your mountain, who shall ascend unto your holy hill? He whose hands are clean. Mm. We choose, Father. We choose. It is our heart's cry in this season. We desire to ascend to that holy hill. We desire to dwell in the holy hill, in the place that is called the secret place of the Most High. In the place that is called the shadow of your wings. In that place where not even the arrows of pestilence can touch us. Not even the spirit of destruction can touch us. Not even pestilence can get in our board. It's the place, Lord. Is the place today. Is the place we come to, my Father. Is the place we come to seek this day. Oh, take all the glory. Thank you, the great I am. Thank you, the great Elohim. Anywhere, wherever you are, just bless God. Just bless God in your words. Just bless God in what you can do, whether with a hand clap, whether with your words, whether with a shout. He's a good God. He is a good God. Hallelujah. We bless his holy name. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. My goodness, uh, this week, just, just know that this week, you know, anytime you speak of an attribute of God, he manifests. Hallelujah. And so that is why, of course, all the other weeks we've been talking about God, but my goodness, there's something about this week oh we give glory to god hallelujah have you welcomed your neighbor tell them neighbor as you have decided to abide in his presence may the speed of your restoration be doubled uh, tell him as you've tell him oh how that have you decided as you've decided to abide in his presence let his kindness and his loving kindness suddenly have <laughs> may God you see there are times when God at times ladies and gentlemen oh thank you yes I was going to ask for the microphone hallelujah amen there are times when God becomes prejudiced there are times when God decides to favor there's a time when God decides to give advantage on someone over someone else hallelujah and, and we don't take those moments for granted those moments ladies and gentlemen are met in the presence hallelujah well, I'm so happy. I'm so blessed this day. Uh, bless, let's bless the worshipers. God bless you. I'm so, I'm so honored today to, to have kicked off and having started um, this night, this week of encounter. Uh, I'm so honored, first and foremost, to thank God for my mother, Prophet Simon Olagnas. Mom, I, I've already said this and let me say it again. We thank God for leaders. It is true, we thank God for leaders. But I have discovered that sometimes leaders 
may just want, if they get a revelation, they may just want to keep it for themselves or their household. Mom would have gone off to seek God in maybe this season. But, but she has called the church to be seeking God. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm telling you, if only you can get to the prayer mountains, you will attest to this. Some pastors actually sneak off. Can you imagine? Get to the prayer mountain after they are done. You just see him coming and say, receive power. Yeah, it is okay to receive, but I would love when you give me direction. Mom, for that we are so grateful. In, in, in this one and a half months, you have been giving us week after week by the Spirit of God. You've been giving us a direction. It has been a pointer. It has been a compass direction. My goodness. Hallelujah. Saints, I'll tell you, if there's any time we've ever been nearer to our place of destiny, it is this season. Glory be to God. So I appreciate you, ma'am. I immensely appreciate you for not just leading us, not just speaking to us, but every day by the Spirit of the Lord giving guidance. Hallelujah. I'll tell you something. Let me tell you. Amen. Church, do not look at the size here. Hallelujah. It is not this size. By the this size, the church you look at as this size has, 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 done, has done number, has, not number, has done cricket oval, has done kololo, has done, so it's, it's, not, it's not this size. <laughs> you, don't, you don't compare a church by a size. No, 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 no. You compare, <laughs> you compare the church by the cloud of his presence upon it. <laughs> Glory be to God. I appreciate, let us appreciate Bishop Paul Chukwem and Prophetess Miriam Obina. Oh, such blessed patriarchs. We have patriarchs of the anointing. We have, we have men and women. Goodness. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, ma'am, whenever I hear the statement of how people say it, sometimes they brand it and say that this ministry carries ancient anointing. I'm so proud of that. Because it's the ancient anointing of the Moseses, of the Daniels, of the, Mo of the, of the Elijahs that moved nations. It, it, it was that anointing, that anointing that caused leaders to be aligned. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, so, so the rightful identifiers as the ancient anointing, it is very true. And we are so proud. <laughs> we are so proud of this anointing. <laughs> Hallelujah. I appreciate Pastor Helen. God bless you, woman of God such an awesome inspiration to us especially to the women in the women of valor god bless you let us appreciate pastor sarah chizito i believe she's online right now come on hallelujah pastor sarah we love you let us appreciate pastor joan ah, i believe she's on right now god bless you pastor joan they will be joining us uh, through for the rest of the week let us appreciate pastor martin i believe he's on right now hallelujah Pastor Grace, God bless you, man of God. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, this is by default that we appreciate the Spirit of God that is the author, he is the starter, he is the chairperson, he is the advertiser, he is the programmer. Come on! Oh! Glory be to God. Glory be to God. In Jesus' mighty name, as you lift up those hands, Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for this week once again. It is always a joy to be in your presence. It is always a joy to be in, uh, to sit at your right hand, to sit at your table, to dine with you, oh God. That today, my Father, we are dining once again in your presence. Thank you for the tangible, unchallengeable, and undistinguishable presence that is with us today. Take all the glory. Receive all the praise. Father, may at this moment your will as it is in heaven be done on the earth. I ask the Spirit of God who convicts of sin, righteousness, and judgment, he that speaks, that I, may I be a yielded vessel, that only that which you purpose in this watch shall be spoken unto the saints. That and in the end of it all, we return all the glory unto your name. For this we've prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Come on as you bless the name of Jesus. Please take your wonderful seat and as you take it, shout, I am closer to my breakthrough. See, you see, you see, this is a prophetic ministry. So anything you do there, you may just, it may just be a statement, a speech, um, um, 
a conviction and you, you, that is how the things of God are. Praise the name of the Lord. Tonight I want to speak about our topic this week is what? Speak to me. Living what? Living the life of purity. I have come today as we're beginning off and I want to speak of purity as the crown of our inheritance. Purity as the crown of our inheritance. You see, it's, it's very important that we not as children of God that you cannot survive if you don't have an inheritance. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. By the way, I had never known there is a very clear cut distinction between being blessed and having an inheritance. There, there are clearly, there is a clear cut, oh my goodness, there is a clear cut distinction. I don't know. This season, as the Lord has called us again to purity, may somebody step, and ah, goodness, may somebody step into the crown of your inheritance. I'm going to be speaking to you on in these remaining um, maybe one, one, one and a half hours, and then we get into prayer. Purity as the crown of our inheritance. There is no shortcut. I'll tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. Hallelujah. Put aside any popular gospel you've been hearing. I'll tell you this. If you want to know why God puts some above and in the same place he will put the, some of them down. It is because one of them wears a crown of purity. If you want to know why we may all pray the same prayer. Hmm. But 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 to one, it looks like as though they are always in God's bedroom. And the other one, it looks like as though they are always outside the gate. It is called the crown of inheritance, called purity. Make no mistake. We have many who pray. We have many who can declare the blessings of God. We have many. But what routes this blessing to manifest physical upon our lives is called the crown of purity if you hear me somebody say amen please open your bibles in genesis 25 and verse 5 to 6 um it's, it's, it's just where i want to begin from as we begin to break down hallelujah praise the name of the lord as you're opening the bibles listen prayer and fasting seed declaration all that kind of stuff are keys to blessings but when we speak of purity, it is a key to inheritance. You want me to say that again? Whether prayer and fasting, whether seed, whether, you know, declarations of faith, whatever it is, those are keys to blessings. But I've discovered that the master key to inheritance is called purity. Now, there was a difference. Abraham did something. And, and, and I was wondering why of all things did he have to do this? Praise the name of the Lord. And we find out that Genesis 25 and verse 5 to 6. Please Jacob as you're reading it for me. You're going to hear an important statement that is mentioned of in the Bible. And specifically hear what the Bible says. Please yes 3 and go. Genesis 25. Genesis 25, 25 from 5 to 6 yes. Yeah, and Abraham. The Bible says, and Abraham gave all that he had gave to Isaac. All his inheritance to Isaac. <laughs> Continue. But Abraham gave but gifts. Then to the others he gave what? Gifts to the <laughs> sons he, of the concubines. He, all these were his children. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Genesis. 25 Genesis verse 5. 25 5 to 6. Here again, yes. Uh -huh. And Abraham. Now, to Abraham, hear what he did. Gave all that he had. He gave to Isaac. all his inheritance to Isaac. But Abraham gave gifts then, to the sons. To the sons of the concubines. Of the concubines. He gave gifts. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much. Amen. Do you know that that is what it is in the church? There are some who God gives inheritances. And there are some <laughs> who he gives gifts. <sighs> I pray that from today onwards you shall belong to those that partake of inheritances. 
what, what, what amazes is that all were children. All were Abraham's sons. That is what the Bible says. But when it got to the attestation of his final will, he gives Isaac the inheritance and he gives the rest gifts. Let me tell you. I know you've been telling God bless me, isn't it? And I'm going to shock you. Blessings are seasonal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. We have heard of men who were blessed before. But then after a while, you begin to ask, where is so and so? We've heard of preachers. You know, mom usually asks a question. She asks, what is wrong with most of the ministries in Africa? They don't survive the fifth year. Hallelujah. And yet, in the same field of ministry, we have men like Benny Hinn. We have men like Reynard Bonke, the late. We have men like, um, you know, you've always heard of these men. And up to now, mom usually says she was young. Benny Hinn could stand and sing hallelujah and the lame walk. Even today, he still sings hallelujah and the lame walk. Eh? Hello? Yeah. But then you have this one. Who just two years ago was the household name? Right now is making noise. What is going on? The difference is, <laughs> make no mistake, anyone can be blessed. Amen. But to have an inheritance. <laughs> because inheritance is for a lifetime. Woo. An inheritance is not seasonal. It is a lifetime. Once it is bestowed upon you, know that until when you expire, until when you leave this earth, you are going to walk under that heaven. You are going to walk under that realm. An inheritance is a spiritual cloud. It is a realm under which you do not just abide, but you are an owner of. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you why. Purity is a must if you're going to be effectual in this generation. Hallelujah. See, Reuben was the firstborn of, 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 of Jacob. But lack of purity just left him with a blessing. Reuben, the children of Reuben shall, be, shall not be many. They shall, they shall not be few. They shall be many. Moses declares it. But when you go to the one that took the inheritance, Joseph, <laughs> you hear the blessing upon this guy. Why? Because he took an inheritance. Amen. I pray that you shall not just be a child in the church who is going to take a blessing. Ah, I did not hear you. We are going to pursue purity with God because at the end of it, it is an inheritance. Let me tell you what an inheritance is. Even when the Philistines had closed the wells that Abraham had dug for, uh, uh, for Isaac, this guy, in the, this guy, it is said, in the drought, Genesis 26 is where I am, in the drought, this guy went and planted and got a hundredfold. Who told you? Let me tell you, men of inheritance are not affected by the ongoing circumstances. Many are speaking of economic meltdown. They are speaking of lockdowns. But I'm going to tell you, men of inheritance are not affected. Even when the enemy had blocked, whoa, even when the enemy had blocked, you cannot block a man that has an inheritance. As long as the Lord is your inheritance, they can block you in Uma showground. You, you are my God, my God, my God. You shall just step not far away and you will thrive once again. You cannot break down a man of inheritance. You see, that is why they have fought you and they don't understand you. They have tried everything, but they say, ah, what is it with this one? Ah, there's some strategy we tried with the others. We have been putting them down, but what is it with this one? 
the, the issue is not that you pray the most. In fact, they could be prayer warriors. They could be the guys that go for fasts for almost 80 days dealing with you. Huh? But don't joke with the man of inheritance. Huh? I said, do not joke with the man of inheritance. Huh? Do not joke with the man of inheritance. Huh? You may be skillful like Esau. Huh? You may be industrious like Esau. Huh? You may be a hunter like Esau. Huh? But a man of inheritance huh? will just go to the tent huh? and begin to wreck a cutter. Huh? While Esau is busy, busy, while Esau is busy in his man of inheritance, know how to play the game. That in the end, when the fool appears, he hands over the birthright. Oh, tell your neighbor, purity is the crown of your inheritance. I don't know what inheritance you're seeking. By inheritance, I don't mean marriage. Uh, uh, inheritance goes beyond marriage. Inheritance is nations. Inheritance is generations. My goodness. Hallelujah. God wants legacies. You hear me? Praise the name of the Lord. Twelve men after Jesus died left a legacy that even today we are still writing on the adding chapters on the acts of apostles 12 men started it with the spirit of god purity is the only way that the crown of your inheritance will stand the thing is not about pastors telling you you are so legalistic you are of the law of moses shut up one thing I know is that one thing I know is that our king is a legislator. When he says, "Be holy as I am holy," whether you are in the dispensation of the prophets, or the dispensation of Moses, or the dispensation of the apostles, or the dispensation of the Holy Spirit, one thing I know is that if he says, "Be holy," the king has commanded, and the king is still giving out inheritances. Oh my goodness. If somebody will pick this up, you'll not be reminded that purity, Isaac spelled it out very well. Purity is not just sexually, that you should not fornicate. Purity is something so wide. The scope of purity is something that transcends the act of sex or fornication. In purity, there are what they call, you know what the Bible says? Ah, listen to the scripture. Jeremiah 17. You know that scripture? Jeremiah 17 and verses 9 to 10. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mama has already spoken of the issue called the heart. Purity is a heart issue. Mm-hmm. 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 We are not going to say that you are pure, pure because you put on... Uh, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes, if you put on the long gown, thanks be to God. Hallelujah. But it goes beyond that. It is not lifting up holy hands when, when, when the word is spoken and you say, I receive. No, it goes beyond that. Are you there, Jacob? Yes. Jeremiah 17 and verses 9. Hear what the Bible says. Goodness. Jeremiah 17 and verse Oh, 9. hallelujah. The heart is The Bible deceitful. says the heart is deceitful. Above hmm. all things. And above all things. And desperately wicked. And listen what the Bible says. This heart, hmm? it is not just wickedness, but the heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Hallelujah. And, and, and he asks a question, who can know this heart? And what does the Bible say? Amen. And 10. And 10 I says, the Lord. He says, I the Lord. Search the heart. I search the heart. I, I test the mind. And I test the mind. Even to give every man. Even to give every man. According to his ways. According to his what? His ways. He, according to the fruit of his ways. If it is your Bible, underline that. According to the fruit of what? Of his doing. Doings. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I said praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So we understand that though blessings are temporal, an inheritance. <laughs> who, 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 let me try and decement and try to dis dissect these two statements. You see many We've been looking at many, ma'am, and we've been thinking that, ah, 
Wow, these guys, wow, wow. No, 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 no. There is a very big, clear cut distinction between one that has a blessing and one that has an inheritance. Glory be to God. I said, Glory be to God. I said, Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, you understand by the reason of inheritance that there is something called a birthright. I'll tell you, it's children of God. Hallelujah. Don't just read the Bible and you hear that Esau sold the birthright to Jacob and you think it was something um, trivial, something, you know, something that you just read like a story. No. It is a lesson for us. I say it is a lesson for those that hold inheritances. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessings and gifts will not sustain you. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now what is amazing with gifts <laughs> is that no, let me ask you, what, what do you call it? Uh, mom, mama's, mama's taught us on the issue of the goddess of sex. So what do you call it? If after this guy patronizing you, after you giving him your body to him, he then buys you the latest, uh, what, is the, what, is the most late, what is the latest car right now in town? Uh, now, I love, I love mama's sons. You see where the, their scope is. I thought someone was going to say Cosa or something, but I'm hearing Bentley, I'm hearing Lamborghini, Rolls Royce. So I, I, you understand what? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So let me ask the question. So after this young lady giving her body to this, this old man, he gives her a card. Do you know, you know what? Or maybe she gets a job in one of the big companies in town. You know the mistake we've been saying? You know, when we look at that, many have conceptualized a person driving the best state of art car, you know, having the state wagon, all these things, having the best job. They have categorized that as being a person that is well off. Or, let me use the term. There's a term they usually use. Have you heard of that? Ainebi Praise the name of the Lord. But categorically speaking, that is just a gift. Recently, I was reading a story, ma'am, of one artist. I will not mention a secular artist. When she was still in good books with her manager, I think then, I believe when it is a manager, I think stroke, maybe fiancé. This guy painted the whole newspapers. He bought her Mercedes Benz. I. When they fell out... <laughs> He came and picked the bins. I'm going somewhere. I want to go somewhere. Those are gifts. <laughs> and they are temporal. Huh? But the inheritance. Mm. The inheritance. Praise the name of the Lord. Inheritance does not know your, future, your past. Inheritance is what picks a slave boy in a dungeon, in a strange land. And then the king appoints him, not just as a palace advisor, but as a prime minister. That is called inheritance. Oh, goodness, hallelujah. So tell your neighbor, learn to be proud as you walk in purity. You know, of recent, where am I speaking mainly about the, 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 the part of purity, especially via uh, fornication? Because that is what most of us know. And, and, and many, of course, when, when, <laughs> you've just spoken what Isaac said. You may say, ah, but me, I'm, 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 I'm not fornicating. I'm, I'm, I've kept myself clean. Praise the name of the Lord. Let this thing go beyond 
you keeping yourself pure. Let it now get to the issues of your heart. Hallelujah. Because we are stepping, ladies and gentlemen, not just to ask God for anointing. No, I, I cannot, I cannot, I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know how sweet sleep is right now at, at, at coming to be there? Do you know, do you know how, do you, am I speaking to someone? Do you know how, if at all, uh, in those days, right now I don't know what is going on on television. But do you know how good some movies are in this time? When you are watching some, some interesting movie right now, maybe maybe a war movie, maybe something, maybe a Nigerian movie, I don't know. Do you know how good it is as you are relaxing and you are laughing your head? you know how good it is but you are busy here? In fact, some of you are enduring. Some of you, it's because lions are chasing you. You say, ah, ah, this one, if I don't, you see, mom usually say, the way, the way we know how people pray, we, we will know what is chasing you by, what, what, how do we know what is chasing you? We'll see how you're praying. When you see somebody praying and, ah, they are like, um, you know her. Since that one, according to, to what is chasing them, looks like it is mosquito. Hallelujah. When you look at someone who's praying, even if they don't, they tell you, they won't say, they won't say you one, two, three, go, and they already pray, you know, that, ha. looks like that one is a lion now after them. Thank God that God has allowed you to seek him in this season. We, we, we are not here, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we are not here. We are not here just to ask God for cars and mansions and money and uh, 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 uh. There is a cloud I want to walk under. <laughs> there is a realm I want to possess. There is something. Mom usually says, don't pray for the usual things. For you are praying for... Hmm, yeah? Hallelujah. Don't pray for money. Pray that you shall be a citizen in the realm of money. Let that be an inheritance. Oh my God. Hallelujah. The, the, it should give you a right. You know, purity, ladies and gentlemen, Hebrews 1 8, purity is what gives you the right to stand before the king. Hebrews 1 and 8. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. In this season. Please read for me Hebrews 1 and verse 8. 3 and go, yes. Hebrews 1 and 8. What does the Bible say? But to the Son, he says. But to the Son, this is what the, this, this is what the Son speaks of the Father, yes. Uh -huh. Your throne, O God. Your throne, O God. Is forever and is ever. Is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness. A scepter of righteousness. Now, I was speaking this on Sunday. Um, maybe, maybe for those of you who shall are not here on Sunday. Hallelujah. Thank you so Amen. much. We are going to be reading. We are going to be reading slowly. Sorry. Now, and in, in the topic of doctrine, we are talking about we are talking about the kingdom, the issues as pertaining to the kingdom. And I said that if all of you remember Esther, I think chapter number three, we spoke of that extensively on Sunday. And I said that in the season of Asherah the king now Esther was the wife say amen. amen Esther was the wife of the king but as pertaining to issues that go beyond husband and wife Esther needed to be dressed up in a royal apparel because she was not meeting her husband on the throne she was meeting a king on the throne now, 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 I usually tell people, you know, sometimes you, I usually hear people, you know, usually people, usually people do this when they, when they, are, when they are walking, covering up their sin. Um, our God is a loving father. It is true. He's a loving father. Hallelujah. Amen. But do you know that even God is a, is a righteous king? Yes. Do you even know that God is a righteous judge? You see, that is why in Genesis 4, when Cain had killed the brother Abel and God the king, God the judge appeared and asked him, where is your brother? This guy thought he was dealing with his father. He said, ah, am I my brother's keeper? He did not know that at that moment it was a judge that was pronouncing. He said, you shall be a vagabond and a wanderer. Can you imagine? <laughs> Let me tell you the secret to dominion. Learn to deal with God as a king. Amen. Let me repeat that. Amen. The secret of our dominion. 
learn to deal with God as a king. And God as a king, Isaac usually states this word. He says, in him, there is, he dwells in an approachable life. And in him, there is no darkness. When the king is on the throne, hallelujah. That is what it means when he said the scepter. Now, I'll still explain the scepter. The scepter was, an, it was part of the royal regalia. It was part of the, 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 it was a staff that was held in the king's hand. And if anyone needed audience with the king, even if you are his brother, even if you are his wife. Huh? <laughs> the moment he was the king on the throne. Even if you are his wife. He, if, if he did not point out the royal scepter for you to enter. You could not enter. Actually if you tried. It was treason. And in those days treason was punishable by death. And now Jesus comes and says, your scepter, oh God, is a scepter of righteousness. Praise the name of the Lord. In, in, in the things I was explaining about the kingdom, I said that just as Uganda, we have what we call the constitution of Uganda. Isn't it? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And how many of you know that just because you are Ugandan, you are not exonerated if you break the laws of Uganda. Even if the president is your father, if it is concerning law, the law will handle you. Isn't it? Yes. Am I speaking something? Yes. Now, God our father gave us a constitution called the Bible. This is the constitution. And every time we adhere to his word, we are living righteousness. Now, this is the good thing. That though by nature we are of the fallen Adam, but because of salvation we have been grafted. This righteousness is not of ours. He is the one that, oh my goodness, he is the one that helps us to walk in this righteousness. Let me, on your own you cannot survive. I've, I have, I've had some of you giving ultimate terms. Today, you know gossip is your problem. You say, ah, today, let me go and hide myself in my room. I will not come out. You see, you'll just be inside your room and hear grapevine. You'll forget that you told yourself you should. You see, you can, let me give you the gist. <laughs> you, you, this one, hey, you're <laughs> you forget the next day. Hey, I said I should lock my. You cannot on your own. And the reward of our righteousness is this. When we walk in righteousness, the king bestows upon us our inheritance. He told Esther. Here, what, are you in the book of Esther? Please, let me show you what an inheritance is. Hallelujah. Amen. Purity is a must. You cannot go anywhere where there is no purity. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I want us to, yes, please get there. When she came to King Aceras and put on her royal garments. Here on the Bible says three and go, uh huh. Esther 5, verses, yes. verses 2. Continue three and go, yes, uh huh. And so it was when the king saw Queen Esther. No, begin Esther. from verse 1. Begin from verse 1, yes. Here on the Bible says, uh huh. Now it happened. It says, now it happened. On the third day. That on the third day. That Esther put on her royal robe. Pause a bit. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Somebody said the royal robe. Amen. Somebody shout the royal robe. The royal robe. And a strange garment on which has not been giving you grant, which has not been granting you permission to go before the king. Let this season be the season whereby you are going to take it off. Amen. The Bible says Esther put on the royal robe. Why was it? Because before before the king, only the royal robe gave you identity. Ah, my goodness. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Amen. She could not go to the king putting on a nightdress even if she was the wife. Amen. Do you know that most of you, you want to appear before the king, but when he looks at your garment, ah, he's disgusted. What is this one doing here? Purity is a must. If you are to go before the king, the first condition is put on the royal garment. Somebody said, put on the royal garment. Put on the royal garment. It has to be the royal garment. Royal garment means it was a garment that was in, in unison. It was a garment that was in sync. It was a garment that was recognized by the palace. And that is why I called it righteousness. Righteousness is the only garment that the king recognizes. Purity is the garment that the king recognizes. Oh, let me speak to Esther. 
because the king is about to release something but let me speak to Esther in this season maybe before you did not have access but now as we are in the season of this revival you are putting on a royal garment once again amen. I say you are putting on a royal garment once again Amen. and you are going to make an appearance before the king and here when the king saw her hear what the bible says please continue and stood in the inner court and she stood outside palace. in other words when you put on the royal garment number two you have to adapt into what they call the waiting somebody say waiting waiting, waiting ladies and gentlemen is you always have to make sure you are in the presence who now sees the protocol of where the inheritance comes from so Esther had to first put on the royal garment and then she stood and waited continue uh -huh. in the inner courts of the king's and, palace and, and the waiting was in the inner court Amen. <laughs> oh my goodness as you put on the royal garment may you begin to move from the outer court I say, your experience shall not be of the outer court it, you shall begin to move into the inner court you may have started the year on the outer court but your prayer life as you abide in the presence of the king as you walk in purity here your prayer shall push you suddenly you will find yourself in the inner ah, let me tell you ladies and gentlemen do you know that there are certain prayers that cannot be heard because you pray them from the outer court do you know that there are, yeah, 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 yeah. There are certain breakthroughs that will not meet you when you're still outside you have to get inside amen and Esther was in the inner court in the inner court is where you have access to possibilities Amen. that is where you have access to sit and begin to discuss issues Amen. and here what the bible says across from the king's house and she was across from the king's house and what why the king sat on his royal and throne. this king is sitting on the throne the in Bible, the royal house. The Bible says, Hebrews 4, 16, Therefore draw boldly into the throne of grace that you shall obtain mercy. Oh my goodness. Purity is what will make you draw boldly to the mercy seat. Huh? Do you know the same seat huh, can cause judgment? Huh? Recently I was hearing there was tsunamis taking place somewhere. The same seat, huh, God can decide judgment somewhere. And in the same seat, huh, God can decide mercy before you. Amen. Let me tell you, we are not this. We are not equal. By consecration, a man draws nearer to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And you know what the Bible says? Mm -hmm. So it was when and the it was king that when the king saw her, saw Queen Esther. Hear what he did. Standing in the court. What did he do? That she found favor. That she found life. favor. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Favor in the morning. Favor in the afternoon. Favor in the evening. You do not know what it means when a man has favor. When a man has favor, that means sometimes God will have to be biased against someone else for this person to thrive. Have you ever had God being biased on behalf of someone? Well, that is what favor does. Favor is what chooses someone. Don't tell me that Mary was the only virgin in Israel, but favor picked her out. Oh my goodness. I believe Mary by reason, she had something. There was a secret, but that is for a later time. We are still looking at this story. And here the Bible says. She found favor in his sight. And she found favor in his sight. And the king held. And the sign Esther. that the king has, you found favor before the king is that he held out to Esther what? The golden scepter. The golden scepter. That was in his hand. Continue. And what happens? Then Esther went near. Then Esther gets near to him. And touched the top of the scepter. And touched the tip of the scepter. Continue. And the king said and to And the her, king said to Esther. What do you wish? What? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. What do you wish, Queen Esther? You don't just get there by declarations. Uh, there is consecration. Uh, there is putting on the garment. Uh, there is you being in the presence. Uh, and then the king will stretch out his scepter to you. And when he came and she touched the strip of the scepter the bible says and the king asked queen esther what do you desire continue it shall be given and to it you shall be given to you to the half the even kingdom. if it is half of my kingdom that is what they call an inheritance Amen, I receive it. 
and you did not hear me. With Vashti, here, <laughs> the conversation the queen had with Vashti is come and, come and model. And people see the gift of your beauty. <laughs> with Esther, the king said, ah, you come here, you your favor. Even if it is half of my kingdom, I'm willing to give it to you. May someone have a, 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 a. Let, a, let the king in this season uh, begin to declare some things. It is not going to be for you to be summoned uh, to come before his royal friends. Uh, but may it be that when, he come, when you come before him, uh, it is for him to tell you even if it is half of the empire, even if it is goodness, uh, even if it is the, the, the four mountains, uh, Isaac was just talking about it. Uh, even if it is the mountain of economy, I am willing to give it to you. Even if it is the mountain of social media, I am willing to give it to you. Even if it is the mountain of health, I am willing to give it to you. Even if it is the mountain of, of religion, I am willing to give it to you. Even if it is the mountain of fashion, I am willing to give it to you. Because with purity, you have a crown. Hear what I just heard. The scepter touched the crown on Esther's head. You did not hear me. You did not hear me. Because as she was putting on the royal garment, uh, every queen has a crown on her head. Am I, am I talking to somebody? Uh, because of purity, <laughs> the king shall stretch out his scepter. <laughs> and once it has touched the crown of purity upon your head, uh, he shall say, now tell me, uh, what is it that you desire? Even if it is half of the kingdom, uh, I am willing to give it to you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, men that have walked in inheritances uh, are men that have found favor uh, are men that have had audience with the king uh, you may not you may look at his size uh, and you may despise the size uh, you may look at the background uh, and you may despise the background uh, but because they have found audience uh, before the king uh, he says ask one person said in heaven you'll be shocked at the people that will have the great mansions they may not even be the men the big people you know it could be that old woman that is interceding that sits at the back there who never under, who no one recognizes. Hallelujah. Somebody said purity. The crown of your inheritance. The king draws out his scepter and it will meet the purity that is upon your head. And by that he will begin to say, ask even if it is kingdoms, I'm willing. Oh. Can you imagine the king even telling you what to ask? The king even suggesting, oh my goodness, Jacob, you did not hear me. The next time you go before the king, you may have gone when it is, an, it is just an issue. It is a financial issue. You need to clear something. And the king will tell you, no, Jacob, ask even if it is having all the wealth of these men transferred to you. I'm willing to give it to you. You do not know what that means. Do you know what that means? So ask your neighbor, why has the king been limited in answering you? I've said on one side add all the Rubens, the Esau, the Ishmaels these men who had had talents they had blessings, they had gifts they could not match men like Isaac men like Jacob men like Ephraim men like Joseph, they could not match these men because upon them was a crown of purity in this season of revival, anywhere that crown was dropped, you did not hear me. See, without that crown, you are you before the, the the devil can hit you anywhere. But as long as the crown is upon your head, as long as the crown is upon your head, I said, as long as the crown is upon your head, that is a guarantee of ownership. That is a guarantee of multiplication. That is a guarantee of privileges in life. That is a guarantee of advantage in life. That is a guarantee. Tell your neighbor, go back and discover where the crown was dropped. Because until when you discover where the crown was dropped, 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So do not, from today onwards, don't believe this lie that the devil has fed the church. It is true the Bible says if a, man, a righteous man falls how many times? He says a righteous man falls how many times? And what happens? Your crown is too expensive even to sleep. I mean to sleep, not to sleep, but to sleep. To sleep. Just it is, it is, it is, it is, it is too expensive. You see, one thing I know about this end time, see how the kingdom of darkness is working. See the speed. This guy knows what is going on. Hallelujah. And the danger of what is going on in the church is that more and more of the saints are dropping their crowns of purity. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Let me speak to you that is the remnant. Oh, hallelujah. Because that crown is still held upon your head. Mm. I said because you're going to, you've decided that by purity you're holding onto the crown upon your head. You, for you there will be a distinction there will be something that will mark you there, there will be that there will, my, my mother usually says anywhere she goes even if she does not want to speak about it there is something that marks her that even if they are preachers eh? and by the way some of these people are mothers and fathers one time she was telling us a story she went to some nation and in that nation there are people who in this nation are recognized as moving bibles when they stand on the pulpit and speak <laughs> you also will declare goodness this man is full of revelation i will not speak the name of some of them because i because we honor and respect this they are, they are all men of god she was telling us that this man of god was they went somewhere in some nation and this guy was a moving bible full of revelation goodness this guy spoke his english was next to none goodness his eloquence made the crowd begin to stand and be amazed you know there are some vocabularies you speak and people forget your preaching and begin to say what did he say Then, <laughs> Woo. with this, with this man of God, they had given them hours. I think, with properties, I think they had given thirty minutes. They say, "Come, come, woman of God, come." So she was the one to step on the pulpit after this guy. Tell your neighbor. Then, the king decided to favor. As this man was handling the microphone to her, the first greeting that was, the first greeting, this guy got slain in the anointing. <laughs> so, as, as Providence was getting to the pulpit to begin to speak, she just said, greet, I greet, the Spirit of God greets you. <laughs> oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Men that you could think, ah, ah, me, we, we don't bow down to a woman. Hey. <laughs> it is not that it is women or men. This thing about inheritance is not about male or female. It is not gender. As long as the person holds the inheritance, uh, governors will, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep royalty will, goodness. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm telling you, the nation is waiting for men that hold inheritance. Not people that are blessed. It has to go beyond that. And that is done by purity. Hallelujah. If you're still the kind that subscribes to the message of let me fall, I'll rise up. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Even your prayer is like that, it falls and rises up. <laughs> if I'm speaking to somebody, say, I am ready today. Come on, praise the name of the Lord. I said, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, I said... It's very important. 
a lost inheritance is because purity was found wanting. And yes, many have had their inheritances exchanged. Hello? Because anytime the weights of God come out, and when he weighs, he finds you wanting. If there's an imbalance in the spiritual realm, <laughs> I wish the church knew what was going on. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So here on the Bible says, here on the Bible says, <clears throat> Hallelujah. Romans 8, 12 to 14. Romans 8, 12 to 14. Do you know that purity is a cross you have to bear every day? Many think it is opposition. No. Purity is a cross. Please read for me. Romans 8, 12. 14. Therefore, Therefore, brethren, yes, we are debtors, we not are, to the flesh. We are indebted, or there is a payment to be made from us, and this payment is not to the flesh, but it is what? To live according to the flesh. And it says, we are not going to live according to the flesh. Continue. For if we live according For to the if flesh, if we are to live according to the flesh, you will die. We are I. But if by the spirit, but if we live by the spirit, you put, you put to death the deeds he of says, the body. You have to put to death the works of the body. Amen. That's fourteen. Yeah, you will live. Fourteen. Yes. For as many are led by the spirit of God. And then God, he says, for as many as are led by the spirit of God. These are sons of God. These are the sons of. 15? No, just 14. Amen. So, I usually hear people singing, I am a friend of God. Who lied you? You know, Christians have a whole week. We encourage ourselves. I am a friend. Let me tell you something. So, one time some guy sang it. I don't know whether he had misheard it. Then, he said, he said, I am afraid of God because he calls me friend. I don't know how he picked it. I don't know how he understood it. So you say, for him, he thought they were saying, I'm afraid of God because he calls me Fred. Maybe, maybe I've done something wrong to Fred. I don't know. Hallelujah. But you to be a friend of God. Hmm? He has said, our debt, what? Uh, you and I, the day we confess Christ, the debt we have to pay is not for the, is not us to live. <laughs> Do you know any time, goodness, hear what I'm hearing. <laughs> any time you refuse to walk in the will of God or to walk in the spirit of God or in accordance with the rules of God, that means when heaven looks at you, there is a debt you are refusing to pay. Is that what your Bible says? Is that what your Bible says? We are indebted. Let me get another version. Who has another version? Who has another version here? What's your version? King James. What's your version? Good news. Holy Bible, what's that? NIV, King James. King James. Okay, most of you have King James. Okay. Mm. Let me read from the Amplified. Okay, then we get back and... Hallelujah. We have to pray. We have to pray. We have to pray. Hallelujah. There is an inheritance that is waiting for someone. I said your inheritance this season, you will possess it. Enough of you missing out on your inheritance. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Romans 8 is where I am. I'm reading from the Amplified. And let us go there and see what the Bible says. As uh, Jacob is open, Romans 6, 7, and... Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, we are in Romans chapter number 8. Amen. And uh, specifically in verse number 12. Okay. 12 says, Therefore, brothers and sisters... We have an obligation, but not to our flesh, 
by our flesh it means our human nature our worldliness and our sinful capacity our obligation is not to the flesh and it says to live according to the impulses of the flesh our nature without the Holy Spirit 13 for if you are living according to the impulses of the flesh you are going to die but if you are living by the power of the Holy Spirit, you are habitually putting to death the sinful deeds of the body and you will live forever. Praise the name of the Lord. 14 says, for all who are allowing themselves to be led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. So how do I know that you're spiritual? It's not because you see a lot of visions. It is because there is the fruit of spirit upon your life. That's what Romans 12, 14 has just said. It is not I see, I see, I see. And yet when I look at the fruit of your actions, they are opposite. No, 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 no. It's the fruit. It's not the gifting. The fruit of the spirit is this. Put off the deeds of the flesh. And allow to move by the spirit of God. The spirit of God has symbols. He's a dove. A dove is very clean. A dove is peaceful. Meaning where he is, there is no filth. The spirit of God has the symbol of fire. Meaning he's a consuming fire. He's always there to baptize you. He's always there to burn off impurities. Praise the name of the Lord. He's a symbol of water. Meaning he's there to wash you. Praise the name of the Lord. So, ladies and gentlemen, in this walk, in this season of seeking God, oh my goodness, by the, not by mind, not by power, but by the Spirit of God, may the crowns of purity once again be upon our hands. <clears throat> oh, I said, may the crowns once again get on our hands. You cannot misuse them in this season. No, no, maybe then you could try, but not now. What? With this season of revival, and we all knew, we all knew it from one week, one month and a half ago, they told us that this nation already experiences revival after every 30 years. We are now in that season. We are now in that wave. You cannot afford to play around now. No. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I said Romans 6. And verses 7. Romans 6 and verses 7. What does the Bible say? For he who has died has been freed from sin. When they say died, it does not mean that it does not mean physical death. It means he that has put off the works of the flesh. What does the Bible say? It is what? That he who has died is what? Continue. For he who has died yes. has been freed from sin. Only verse 7. Uh -huh. yes. yes, continue. 8. Uh, skip and get to verse 11. Verses 11. 11, yes. Mm -hmm. Likewise, mm. you also reckon yourselves to yes. be dead. Mm. Indeed to sin. Yes. But alive to God yes. in Christ Jesus Hallelujah. our Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Mine says in Romans 6 and verses 11. It says, even so, consider yourselves to be dead to sin and your relationship to it broken. I'm reading from the Amplified. Even so, consider yourselves to be dead to sin and your relationship to it broken. Uh, but alive to God in unbroken fellowship with him in Christ Jesus. Let your work be this example. I said let your work be this example. I'll tell you something. When we speak of righteousness, when we speak of purity, Hallelujah. Do you know that the Bible mentions around 12 crowns that are inherited because of righteousness? Both here on this earth and in heaven. There's an Isaiah I read for you. Uh, where was that? Okay. Praise the name of the Lord. 
There's, a, there's something I read. Jacob, open for me. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to wrap this up in 30 minutes that we're going to pray. Isaiah 54 and verse 13. Then we speak of the crowns of purity and righteousness. And then we get into prayer. Tonight our prayer is going to be, oh God, renew me. Now that we understood what purity is. Purity gives you advantage. Let me tell you, even if it is billions praying for the same request. A son. Huh? Do you know what an inheritance is? Inheritances are given to sons. In son, I don't, I'm irrespective of gender. Because in the kingdom of God, it is not gender. Sons, whether male or female. Hallelujah. Inheritances, praise the name of the Lord. I said, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. An inheritance is given to a heir. They may all be sons, but there is a heir who takes the inheritance. Amen. And when the son takes an inheritance, that means he has ownership. Isaiah, are you there? 5413. Isaiah 54.13. Please, yes. All your children shall be taught by the Lord. Yes. And great shall be the peace of your children. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> okay, praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Again, open, uh, thank you. Open it and uh, read for us from Psalms. When Psalms 54. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, get to Psalms 54. And verse number six for that matter. Psalms 54 and yes. verses six. What does the Bible say? I will freely sacrifice and to you. I will you. freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise your name. I will praise your name. Oh Lord. Yes. For it is good. Somebody say, I will freely sacrifice to God. I will freely sacrifice to Someone God. Someone say, I will freely sac sacrifice to God. I will freely sacrifice to God. In other words, you know that in this work of salvation, it is going to be a work of sacrifice. You are going to carry, it is going to be a sacrifice. But the Bible says, freely. Tell God, may he give you a willing heart. Because ladies and gentlemen, it is a battle. You hear me? It is a real battle. But when you get to the place of your inheritance, the world will know that you have an inheritance. Yeah. I did not hear me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, I want to read for you the crowns. What are the crowns? What are the crowns that the Bible mentions of? Amen. Number one, it's called the crown of salvation. The crown of salvation. Hallelujah. Please, Psalms 149 in verses 4. The crown of salvation. I want to go through this very fast and then all right just write the scriptures down we are we are we are good so that means when we say salvation it is not that that means god will redeem even even if you go through situations this is one thing that you are sure of that upon your life is a crown of salvation meaning god is able to deliver you in this in the waters he will deliver you in the storms he will deliver you you will not perish like others uh, 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 no, uh, he that dwells in the shadow, in the secret place shall abide under the shadow may God as you put on purity in your life have a crown of salvation in the name of Jesus somebody say amen, amen. come on I don't hear somebody say amen. amen hallelujah then it's what amen. they call the crown of blessings Proverbs 10 and verse 6 hallelujah Proverbs oh my goodness Psalms 149 Psalms 149 and verses 4. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. Mm -hmm. He will beautify the humble Goodness. with salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. 
I think you've had it very clearly. You've had it very well. He does what? He'll beautify the what? He'll beautify the humble with what? With salvation. With salvation. Amen. I said that one, declare that blessing. We're going to declare these blessings again even in prayer. Because this is what comes by purity. You have crowns. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I said praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The crown of blessing. Proverbs 10 and verses 6. <clears throat> the crown of blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. To those that live the righteous life. The crown of blessing. If you hear me shout amen. amen. Come on I don't hear shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Three. It is called the crown of everlasting joy and gladness. Isaiah 35 in verses 10. The crown of everlasting joy and gladness. These are crowns spiritually that you possess in this walk of purity. Oh, I love this one. This is what they call the crown of beauty. Amen. God will give you beauty for ashes. Any shame, God will turn it around for beauty. Let me tell you, yes, it is true. Shame may happen for a while. <laughs> but let me tell you, in the end, when he crowns you with beauty, they will know that you are the one of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The crown of beauty. Isaiah 61 in verse 3. If you are here, me shout, Amen. Isaiah 61 and verse 3. Please, Jacob, read that, read, read, that out, read that out for us. Hallelujah. The crown of beauty. I want to read for you here and then I'll show you even the crowns that we inherit after this life here. Purity is not, is not something that ends here. Quickly, yes. Isaiah 61, 61, 61 and verse, verse three. 3. Please, yes. To console those who mourn in Zion. Mm. To give them beauty for ashes. Hallelujah. The oil of joy yes. for mourning. Glory the be to God. The garment of praise hallelujah. for the spirit of heaven. Come on, hallelujah. That they may be called trees the of righteousness. The trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. The planting of our God. That he may be glorified. That in the end, God will be glorified. Amen. Receive the crown of beauty. As you walk, let me tell you, I've, like I've said, much as it is, a, it is a cross, but in the end, it is a crown. And a cross ends up as a crown. Oh, you did not hear me. For whatever cross, there is a crown. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. This is what they call the crown of righteousness. Second Timothy 4, 8 says, I have fought the good fight. And I've finished the race and kept the faith. In this walk, it is a fight. Hallelujah. Second Timothy 4 and 8. Hallelujah. It is a crown of righteousness that is awaiting us. Mm -hmm. Somebody say, I, I, I shall get to fight the good fight. Say, I will not faint in the race. Say, I will keep the faith. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. This is what they call the crown of life. James chapter 1 and verses 12. Amen. Read it for me, Jacob. The crown of life. Yes, James 1 and verses 12. Oh. What does the Bible say? James 1 and verses 12. James 1 verses 12. Yes, please. Blessed is the man who, who does endures what? temptation. Who endures temptation. Do you know that in purity? <laughs> Goodness. In the work of purity, it's not going to be you just declaring that you are pure. You are going to be checked. One preacher put it this way. I think mom, you also said it. You are giving us one time in a session of wisdom and you say that whatever it is that you had a challenge prior to you confessing Christ, 
Don't just stand here and say, ah, praise the name of the Lord. You see, brothers and sisters, before I knew Christ, I was quarrelsome. But now, God has helped me. I no longer quarrel. No, it's just because you've not gotten customers to deal with you. <laughs> You'll have to get checked in that area. So, the, the tax conductor will refuse to give you the 500. Woo! Then you'll go back and employ the arson of your, of your former lifestyle. You! <laughs> By the time you leave the taxi, you've employed a tired of words that even the people that are sitting in the taxi are asking, ah, where does this one come from? Hallelujah. There has to be a moment whereby, even if you'd want to do it, but because you're a carrier of a cross of purity, you'll have to carry the cross. Not put down the cross and say, cross, wait a bit. I have to sort this one out. No. Because in the end of that, there is a crown of life. Hmm? Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Okay. Oh, there's what they call the crown of glory. First Peter 5, 4. The crown of glory, please. And Jacob, get for us and read for us. First Peter 5 and verses 4. The crown of glory. First Peter 5 and verses 4. Four. Here what the Bible says. And when the chief shepherd appears, and when the chief shepherd will appear, you will receive the crown of glory. Oh my goodness. That does not fade uh, away. Hallelujah. Oh Amen. my goodness. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Ah. The crown of glory. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know if I'm speaking to somebody in this season. Ah, receive of it in the name of Jesus. What number is that? Okay. And then there's what they call the victor's crown. The victor's crown. 2 Timothy 2 and verse 5. The victor's crown. The victor's crown. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verses 5. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, let me take the reading. and 2 Timothy 2 and verses 5. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet he is not crowned except he strive lawfully. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I think let me pick it from uh, verses number three. Therefore, endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing? Somebody said, did you know that you are a soldier according to this scripture? You are, you, 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 when you confess Christ, you are enrolled into some kind of army. And the Bible says no soldier entangles in civilian affairs. What do they call that? When, when a soldier entangles in civilian affairs. Is there a, a, a crime when a soldier does that? He leaves the barracks and then begins to they, uh, <laughs> and by the deserters, uh, I, I read a story, ma'am, I did not know. Deserters, if they arrest you, firing squad. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, my fellow soldier, hey, you have so much entangled yourself in civilian affairs. It's high time you report to the barracks again. Otherwise, deserters. <laughs> Hallelujah. I believe I'm speaking to somebody. Who says, 
back to the place of purity. Because that is where these crowns await you. And I know what Jesus told Peter. He said, a hundred on earth and a hundred in heaven. Not just here on the earth. Praise the name of the Lord. I would have loved to go on, but I need, we are also going to pray. So in this moment, as you're standing up on your feet, we're going to go before the Lord. Because there is no crown where there is no cross. Many have been dropping our crosses. And may, because of course the cross is not comfortable. But this is a prayer that tells God as a faithful soldier in this world of purity I again take up my cross. As everyone is just lifting up their hands because we're going into a moment of prayer. You see, this is the, the strength of our salvation. As the Spirit of God is leading us in this moment. And I know uh, Minister Isaac, Pastor Isaac led us already in a prayer. But again, we are here because now we know that purity is a cross that your pastor does not bear for you but it is you to bear. Jacuena, 
moment before the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, uh, we are returning to the cross this evening. Uh, we are going before the cross this evening uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, and where we ran from the cross. Uh, and where that we decided not to follow the cross. Uh, uh, this morning we are going back in prayer. We are going back in prayer because the life of purity is a life whereby there is a crown. Uh, and where there is a cross, uh, there is a crown that is awaiting us. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus it is an opportunity to go before the presence of God and tell him heavenly father I need the grace once again to go back and carry that cross uh, you know the crosses that you are supposed to have been carrying some of you it is a marital cross some of you it is a cross in your business and all is because the Lord is waiting for you to manifest in the crown of purity that when he shall stretch out the scepter of righteousness he shall be able to receive the faith of the king this morning in the mighty name of Jesus go before the Lord go before the Lord this morning go before him in prayer and cry out unto the Lord tell him father on my own I my own righteousness on my own I have failed I am a gossiper I have failed on my own I have failed on God even when I try for the Bible says in Isaiah that our righteousness is like filthy rags and he says in Isaiah chapter 1 and verses 18 he says come and we reason together even if your sins are as red as crimson, come and we reason together because I shall wash you and you shall become as white as snow this morning in the mighty name of Jesus present yourself tell him heavenly father this is a heart issue as you go before him tell him now oh God it is a heart surgery, it is an operation concerning your heart, this is you bearing your heart before the king unless when you say that there is no sin in you and the Bible says you are a liar but it says but that if we confess our sins before him, he is faithful and just to forgive us from all sin and unrighteousness. This morning in the mighty name of Jesus, only with your heart, only with your heart, take your heart before the king because he's ready to accept you. He's ready to accept you. He's ready to accept you. Just as King Asherah accepted Esther and she found favor in his sight. Tell him, Master, this morning, the strange garment that I've been putting on and a strange garment upon my life uh, that has been hindering me from getting access uh, before the king's courts uh, this morning oh God uh, I come oh God uh, and dress of me the strange garment uh, and dress of me the strange garment uh, whether it is a garment uh, that is connected uh, to ancestral bondages uh, whether it is a garment uh, that is connected uh, to weaknesses in your family tell him oh God uh, this morning uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, help I need your help uh, I need your help this morning uh, because unless when you help me no man can help me unless when you deliver me no man can deliver me the bible says and queen esther put on the royal garment this is a moment in prayer when you can put on the royal garment tell him this morning oh god there are many garments in my life i have had many strange garments that this morning i bring on the cross i bring on the cross this morning i take to the cross this morning in the mighty name of jesus cry out unto the lord this morning let me hear men and women that are going to the cross
cross. Let me hear men and women that say on my own, I have tried on my own. I have tried this on my own, but I have failed them miserably. I have failed miserably. That's why today, my God, I am coming before you, O oh God. I run to the mercy seat. I come to the mercy seat. I come to the mercy seat. I'm running to the mercy seat. We come to the mercy seat where we find redemption. We come to the mercy seat where we find favor. We run to the mercy seat where we find restoration. We run to the mercy seat where oh God is ready to exonerate us. He's ready to vindicate us. Cry out unto the Lord tonight. Ask him to change your garment. Ask him this morning that may you be arrayed in a royal garment. That means any other garment that is not of the royalty, that is not identified in the throne room is rejected this morning. I have been many times. That is why your prayer has been rejected. That is why many times. Yes, you have been a child before the king, but because your garment was not of the royal palace, it has been rejected. But this morning, go before him. The Bible has declared that the scepter, oh God, is a scepter of righteousness. And tonight we are saying our inheritance is a crown of purity. When we have an inheritance, it's because we have the crown of purity. This morning, God before the Lord and ask him today, tell him, oh God, and now I drop the crown, and now I drop the crown of purity, and now I drop the garment of purity, oh God, this morning, Heavenly Father, this morning, I am here before you this morning, I need you to help me this morning, I need you to restore me this morning, no wonder David cried out unto the Lord, and he said, cast me not from your presence, oh God, and take not your spirit from me, restore unto me the joy of my salvation, and renew a right spirit within me, oh God, this morning in the name of Jesus, our cry unto the Lord is that may he restore unto us may he restore unto us may he restore the crown of purity may he restore the crown of purity may he change our garment this season in the mighty name of Jesus ask him for a change of garment be like the high priest be like the high priest Joshua who in Zechariah chapter 3 went before the presence of God and his accuser was standing on the side to accuse him but because he was in the presence of God and he was making a prayer like you and I today the Bible said and the Lord said may the Lord rebuke you Satan even the Lord may he rebuke you this morning as the Lord is giving you a new garment as the Lord gives you the royal garment may he rebuke the devourer may he rebuke your accuser may he rebuke that one that has been causing you not to get access to the inner court of the king in the mighty name of Jesus get before the king this morning tell him I bring the strange garment before you I bring this strange garment before you Heavenly Father, remove this strange garment. Remove this strange garment, oh God. Because when I have the strange garment, I will not be have access. I will not have access. And we have discovered, ladies and gentlemen, that only I way to have access, the only way to have access, the only way to have audience before the king is only through purity. Hey, cry out to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. Ask him to have your new garment. Ask him to give you a new garment. Dress you in a new garment today. Dress you in a new garment today. Tell him this morning, Lord, I need a new garment today. I need a new garment today. I need a new garment for my prayer life. I need a new garment, oh God, that I shall be holy before you. That I shall worship you, oh God. That I shall, oh my God. Kabidi Mukama, 
tunywa mwenge tena watu nywa mwenge abalela mukama tebasoma na kunywa tutunywa ne tutamira dala ati bagamba bafe mukama tine chambalo cha fe yesu akwachi manyoni na kulalero benda masonga katonda benda mabasonge mukama tema kama tine chambalo chikoma wano tine chambalo chinzi nyako tine chambalo chikoma wano echi bade chinzi yisa echi bade chinde mesa okulaba mukono ko echi bade chinde mesa okulaba mukono ko echi bade chinde mesa okulaba bya magendo byo echi bade chinde mesa okulaba kuganja ko echo wogamba na kulalero mukama chambale cho echo bujja mukama gamba ti yesu na kulalero echo chambale cho mukama echi bade chinde mesa okulaba delo okulaba katonda okulaba wakama okulaba echo chambale mukama odo na kulalero katonda wetisa che yambura che yambura chikoma wano mukama chikoma wano mumulido chikoma wano mumulido god revival chikoma wano na kulalero echo chimane chinondola oba chabu konja oba chabu zalirana chikoma wano na kulalero echo chaba toro echo chaba ganda echo chaba rango echo chaba lugwana echo chaba nyarwanda echo chaba rundi echo chaba teso echo chaba songa eleva ndevi tulondola mukama ode na kulalero ebe byambale bya mukama bible yegambye tino esesa na dio ka yambale chambalo na yambala bafuta yamanyiriza masonga kabaka ode na kulalero wanange wandi samye 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 wandi ko wande kantonda wandi bande go moyita wandi bande go moyita wande mo gambye ti ai kantonda wange amo kama amo kama eche ti kwatangana lebe wa femo kama kantonda wetisa we can a revival we be ready a revival kantonda wetisa esa kataya reka kata kataya redele baba baba riba santa la baba katonda simulimba ama ya bado ganda katonda simulimba je ya yogera ya chisomiza eto che ya kugamba katonda mwetegefu wetegefu chitukiriza lewo ni watu nura wansi akura banga yo sokabona odo na kulanero a puri de bo zeri gamba wo mamule ko e byambale bi bi ko we mamule ko e byambale bi bi ko e bi bade bi mule mesa okubera wana ya somora okula mula mumpya zange wo byambule ko odo na kulanero e kanta kanta e reka kanta e shakata ya dara reka kanta kanta e shakata ya we mamule ko odo na kulanero e bi bi ambale bi bi kama we mamule ko ay 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 Bila mukanda ge, mukama dodo, odo na kurane do, wamuri dogo na Yesu. Ebya mude ko, raka kato ya, e shata kato ya, e raka kato ya. Ama yewadi wo, wadi wo jengeli genda maso. Ama yomuri dogo egori, ama yore na kurane do. A achi koma wano, a achi koma wano, a achi koma wano, a achi koma wano, a achi koma wano. Ama ye esesa, o yamba de chipia. Ama ye esesa, o yamba de chipia. Amaye esesa o yamba de chipia amaye esesa kaka amaye esesa o teka ke chipia o yamba de chipia e chikuwo ko ganja o masoga kamaka o do na kurane do ezenzina o masatika ezenzina ezezo ya 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 o do na kurane do o ezenzina yona ya 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 do ma mo de ko reka kanta kaya re ba 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 baba e shakanta ya baba ba e roko kanto sa re baba za kanta ra ka kanta kanta my goodness odo na kurane ro o ma futa ngano ti kwere wano 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 odi nyane yesu kristo o ma na ba ka todo mra ba ti kwere wano re na kurane ro ti chigenda kurondora odi vai veno ti chigenda kurondora o ba chamaro Wache chawa ne mesa, chawa ne mesa mazande bo. Wache te chamba ro, chamba ne chukuma. Omo ne mengo family ya mu, wali we biamba ne bi mu. Oro kuma ngo family, chamba ne zibi amba de. Vidi na ba na bobo wana, ne ba tuka kumia keji mu, ne ba dioka ba bena ko. Sobi zeba kora, vidi na ba na bobo dezi, ne ba tuka kumia keji mu, ne ba ne ba dioka bitandika. Oko ba chukira, oro na kuro ne ro. Fa, 
Levamos leco, levamos leco. Alei kawamo kama, alei kawamo kama. Leno wale maseka tiga fe. Ay 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 ay. Ori yete gese, alei kawanga tonda. Wale maseka ti, abiambula abiambula. Ori wachambula ko, aje sura mo mani do. Ori chakwambula ko. Leba 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 leba, leba 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 leba. Lengera lengera lengera. Leba mo mani do gota, leba mo mani do gubiota. Ay 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 ay. Levamble ko. Oh, baby, I'm Buddha. Oh, baby, Paddy. Oh, baby, Zay. Oh, do not run it all. Jesus! Masha Gopala Baba Baba Rekakata Yandora Baba Baba Rima Shata Baba 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 Rekakato Baba 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 Endele Mashataya Endele Baba Baba Rekakata Kata Rekakata Kata 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 Rekakata Kata 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 Something is going on in the spirit. What do you want to get the master of Nakuranero? What do you want to get the master of Nakuranero? Look at you, Quammo. Look at you, Quammo. Look at you, Kutako. Reke Katakata. Reka Nanana. It's a Chimane Chawan Baby Korodo. It's your Chapato when you move. It's my Chapato Baby Kennebu. Sakato Takata. Reka Kato Katakata. Sakato Katata. Parakata Kata. What about the Gano Zebika? What about the Kori? Mo bi abika, we share new kita mo diako. Wa manda gano zebika, wa mami kongo zebika, wa mami gamba beba la mirisa. Rasata ta ya baba, reka kato raka ta, marasata la baba. Wa mami juro bi mo dia, wa baba mo tena yo, wa mage na ne baba tena yo mpabi, wa tuano mo dia bo me. E shanda la baba, wa dia la wa dia, wa ina be bandi la ne ba kwata, wa kato wa palo ba mo da, wa kato ngo ye zamu, wa kato sati zamu, ne ba diko ba zi. Fire! Yes, I can't fire. No one is saving me. The baba mazi chitu chidana. Masicha wakatona. Alamunga wakazariba. Baba mazi chitu chidana. Masicha wakatona. Odo na kuranelo. Fire! Odo na kuranelo. Yacha 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 yacha. Omri do omri do omri do. 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 Pasha kakata ya. Raka kakata ya. Raka bakata ya. Raka kakata ya. Ama ye chingwa nero. Ama ye biamba nero. Ama ye biamba nero. Ese zamete ina kwamba. Lagena masoga kabako. Ama ye bi gwa nero. Ama ye bi gwa nero. Bi gwa nero moku saba. 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 Yes. The Kalade Santana Nana Baba Baba Rekata Yana Baba Santana Rekata Yana Nana Baba Baba Santana Rekata Yana Nana Baba Baba Santana Nana Nana Rekata Nana Nana Baba 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 You're not your chambari da You're not your chukutena ko You're not your chambari da Uri nyani ya Yesu Christ Oba na wa katondo mlamo Pa chukuveko Pa chukuveko Pa chukuveko Pa chukuveko Ore na kulanero Atu ina bana cho Atu ina tambura na cho Toi na chambara, angu ambe gwe, ambe gwe esesha. Toi na chambara, toi na chambara. Sisi tondo kumbora mowo, sisi tondo kumeme yo, sisi tondo kumbora mowo. Buri nyari ya Yesu Kristo, o mana waka tondo mlemo, oro na kuranero. Tobi yambora ko, 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 tobi yambora ko. Tobia yambora ko, wodi nyari ya Yesu Kristo. Oma na wakato domra ma. Tobia yambora ko, kundi na kugambi dwa. Mane kwa mo kama wali okuyamba, wali chido chane no. Yama zokuwa nzima mama na iko. Lengera lengera lengera, mami chido chane no. Wodi yewande mo kusema, wodi kome na nabo kaka fa, wodi kome na nabo tourism. Tino kato na ina chakose, tino kama ina wakose sikani de. Wodi nyari ya Yesu Kristo. Oma na wakato domra ma, ama yodo na kuwa nero. Yes, 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 y
Gumi chobu sikato yamba do na kurani do. Chobu sikato ino kwamba na. We can no buy buri agambi. We can no mukama to tomi. To amade chamaji ta obo tuko vo. We can no mukama to tomi. To amade chamaro chobo tuko vo. Ho banga chachoka chachoka. Yengule yoka yoka yoka. E somulu do bu sikaba fe. Ama yewari wabemu. Wachowa yoke na mukama. Wachiwe tu na biwa mama wange. Oh, <laughs> Sandinibamababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababab
in the place of purity in the place of purity make that your prayer this evening make that your prayer this morning make that your prayer this morning make that your prayer this morning for Jesus says blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God that means without purity you cannot see God in your family without purity you cannot see God in your business without purity you cannot see God in your generation without purity you cannot see God in everything that you endeavor to do so this morning cry out unto the Lord oh you worthy master let that be your prayer this morning let that be your prayer this morning your own righteousness is filthy rugs tell him you need help let him help you let him help you let him help you on your own you're going to fail but as he helps you you are going to make it let him help you in this season let him help you because he's the only one that can do so. Let him help you, Alpha and Omega. Let him help you in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, as we are about to wind up, in the name of Jesus, I pray, O oh God, as we bestow the blessings of the 13 crowns in the Bible, we declare the crown of salvation. We declare the crown of splendor. The crown of blessing the crown of everlasting joy and gladness in the mighty name of Jesus the crown of beauty I said in the name of Jesus receive of it as we walk in this new season in the mighty name of Jesus the crown of joy the crown of righteousness the crown of life oh the crown of glory oh my goodness in the name of Jesus the crown of victory in the name name of Jesus may you walk in this crown may you not miss on any of these crowns may the Lord in his mercy and his loving kindness release upon each one of us as we've declared it and so shall it be and not otherwise in Jesus mighty name Amen. clap for Jesus uh, come on bless the Lord clap for Jesus Oh, God bless you. God bless you. Greetings from my mother. Once again, let us appreciate God with a mighty hand clap as we appreciate my mother. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yes, we've come to the end of this day in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. But continue praying continue praying in this season you have now known why righteousness is a must why purity is a must take it to God in prayer and indeed God will preserve you in Jesus' mighty name hallelujah if there's somebody there that does not know Jesus just repeat this word say Lord Jesus forgive me of my sin come into my life today change my life today remove my book from the name from the, my name from the book of death and write it in the book of life satan i reject your ways and i reject your ways and i reject your paths and today confess with my mouth as i believe in my heart that jesus christ is the lord over my life in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit in Jesus' mighty name oh yes you've just confessed christ and you've just started the journey whereby you are having your inheritance in Jesus' mighty name and that yes you that is far away look for a bible believing church go to where they speak jesus and where they teach his ways look for a church that deals with sin that speaks of sin the way it is not people that sugarcoat sin otherwise if you're nearby here you're in lugogo come and join us here and god is going to bless you otherwise with those words do not miss out. Lunch hour is still going on. Morning glow, we shall be going on in the, in the morning. And we shall be back in the evening with yet another edition as another servant of God is going to be speaking to us. Why don't we just join, lift up hands as we declare the words of the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever in Jesus' mighty name. 
and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I'll dwell in the house of the Lord with my wife and children and great grandchildren forever and ever in Jesus' mighty name. Shalom and God bless you. See you again in the morning in Jesus' mighty name. God bless.